Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to program an assembly line with applying object oriented programming. Uh, as you can see here, there is a control panel with uh, auto manual switch, uh, reset emergency buttons and a counter display with reset button. Here you can see uh, the final project and the system functionality. In this video, I will review the most important points of uh, OOP programming and if you are beginner, I recommend to watch the video that I already prepared for packing boxes on pallets and I put the link of video in the caption. Uh, as you can see, this line contains two machining centers that prepare the base and lead parts. And finally, by assembler, the lead should be placed on the base. The object-oriented programming is divided to seven main layers. The first one is interfaces and abstractions. Uh, interface is a blueprint for a class that lists a set of methods and properties. In next layer, the feature layer defines the specific attributes and behavior of a class. In I.O. structure layer, we define set of necessary inputs and outputs of the classes. Uh, device divides in two parts, the actuators and the sensors. Uh, the wrapper en encapsulates all classes and objects in a machine or the product line. And in machine state, we define the process sequence and the state of the machine. And finally, in main layer, we have to pass the physical inputs and outputs to the instantiated wrapper. And now let's uh, review the program. In the application, you see folders of seven program layers. Uh, in FIO variable list, there are all variables that we need for communication with factory IO. In GVL variable list, I define the number of actuators and sensors. In the line, we have uh, seven diffusion sensors, uh, six conveyors, uh, one pick and play cylinder, two clamps, two machining centers, one lifter, and in total, we have 12 actuators. To be able to read and write uh, the necessary variables in factory I.O., we have to create the symbol configuration and then select all the variables of FIO list. Okay, let's go to the interface layer. For creating an interface, you can right click on the folder, add object and select interface. The first interface that is already created is I create. Uh, for creating methods or properties for each interface you, uh, you have to right click on the interface name and select add object and it gives you two options to add the uh, methods or properties. Uh, for this interface I actuate, uh, we need four methods plus three properties. Here there are uh, two methods for manual mode and two methods for auto mode. This interface will be used for the actuators like motors that they have a start-stop buttons and a coil to turn on and turn off. 
as you see for interfaces as a blueprint for class we just define necessary methods and properties and that's all for this layer uh, I actuate PP is for pick and place arm or cylinder that contains these uh, properties like uh, detected object feedback grab command moving in X or Z direction and a state of it based on the sequence. I auto manual contains the general methods that we need uh, for all types of actuators in auto manual mode and for fault and running status. I detect is for receiving the sensor input and I return bool contains the method that gives the necessary signal based on sensor input in the simple in the simplest way it can be the same as sensor signal but if we need output for example with a delay we can apply it in this method uh, the next one is i fault uh, contains methods for set and reset of fault and properties for input fault fault status and reset fault uh, we don't need this interface we have to delete it and the last one is uh, I status flags that can include the product line status and I, uh, I just here I just defined a false property.